Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to discuss about Binocular Single Vision or BSV. Binocular Single Vision is the ability to view world with two eyes, form two separate images that is one from each eye and yet fuse these centrally to create a single percept. Development of BSV depends on correct alignment and similar image clarity of both eyes from neonatal period. Now let us discuss the prerequisite for high quality BSV there should be normal retinal correspondence that is image stimulates anatomically corresponding points on each retina so there will be subsequent stimulation of functionally corresponding points in occipital cortex producing a single perception the points in space that project to these corresponding retinal points lie on an imaginary plane known as horopter this is the horopter there is something called panem's fusional area this is the narrow region around horopter in which Despite disparity, points will be seen as single. Coming to the levels of BSV, there are three levels of BSV that is, the characteristics of binocularity in order of increasing quality are level 1 simultaneous perception. This is the perception of a single image due to simultaneous formation of an image on each retina. This picture denotes simultaneous perception. Level 2 is fusion. This is stimulation of corresponding points in each retina, which allows central fusion of image which is denoted in this picture. The third level is stereopsis. Disparity in fused images gives a perception of depth. Fusion has sensory and motor components. Whereas sensory fusion generates a single image from corresponding points, motor fusion adjusts eye position to maintain sensory fusion. Fusional reserves indicate the level beyond which these mechanisms break down, which will usually be seen as diplopia. Now let us discuss the abnormalities of BSV, confusion and diplopia. These are abnormalities of simultaneous perception. Confusion is stimulation of corresponding points by dissimilar images. That is, two images appear to be on top of each other. Diplopia is stimulation of non-corresponding points by the same image. That is, there will be devolution. Now let us discuss the adaptive mechanisms to avoid confusion and diplopia. The adaptive mechanisms include suppression, abnormal retinal correspondence and abnormal head posture. Suppression is a cortical mechanism to extinguish one of the images causing confusion that is central suppression at the fovea or diplopia that is peripheral suppression. Monocular foveal suppression if not treated leads to amblyopia. However, equal alternation of suppression between two eyes does not lead to amblyopia. The size and density of suppression scotoma are variable. This density can be measured with a Spiza Bagolini filter bar by successively using denser filters in front of better eye until fixation switch occurs. This picture shows the Spiza Bagolini filter bar. The other adaptive mechanisms include abnormal retinal correspondence and abnormal head posture. Abnormal retinal correspondence ARC is a cortical mechanism to remap anatomically non-corresponding points of each retina to stimulate functionally corresponding points in occipital cortex to produce a single perception. It permits a degree of BSV despite a manifest deviation. Abnormal head posture is a behavioral mechanism that moves the field of single vision to a more useful location. Now let us discuss about microtropia. The advantages of adaptive mechanisms are seen in microtropia. Microtropia is unilateral strabismus of less than 5 degrees, usually with harmonious anomalous correspondence. It is basically small manifest deviation, usually with a degree of BSV created by a combination of ARC, eccentric fixation and a central suppression scotoma. There is usually no movement on cover test unless the eccentric fixation is not absolute. This picture shows microtropia with identity, that is there will be no movement on cover test. This picture denotes microtropia without identity. In this case, there will be movement on cover test and this occurs when the eccentric fixation is not absolute. Now let us discuss the tests for binocular single vision. The tests for retinal correspondence include Bogolini's striated glasses test, Wirth's 4 dot test, after image test and red filter test. The tests for suppression include Wirth's 4 dot test, 4 diopter prism base out test, and red filter test. The tests for fusion include Wirth's 4 dot test and Bogolini's striated glasses test. 
The tests for stereopsis include Lang's two pencil test, Synaptophore, Random dot test, TNO test, and Lang's stereo test. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.